This is the process shot. I'm Michael. I'm stuck in a haunted movie theater, and I've seen Suspiria, an Italian horror film from 1977, directed by Dario Argento. It follows the unfortunate events that occur as Susie Bannon, an American dance student, attends the prestigious Tanz Dance Academy in Germany beginning with the death of another student fleeing the school. As other mysterious happenings continue, from footsteps in the night to further deaths and disappearances, Susie must work quickly to discover the truth about the school and the kind of people who are running things, lest she herself become a victim. The plotting of the film is paced out pretty well, appropriate for the horror genre, with a good build-up of the overarching mystery. Surprisingly, it's more calm than one might expect, with more attention on that mystery and the suspense of the story, which is not as appropriate for the genre. I do think that the actual story is a bit weak, seemingly made more to justify the various death scenes. Plus, with how well those scenes of murder are presented, I do wish that there were a bit more time given to the greater horror aspect, or at least the actual murder scenes. Then again, those may be presented sparingly for the sake of giving them more weight as they occur, with the rest of the film's scares more along the lines of keeping things atmospheric which is especially heightened by the film's visual style. It's very colorful and isn't afraid to make a point of it, with high contrasts and saturation that almost present everything in a color block style, highlighting individual elements of settings and bringing attention to important details. It's also useful in drawing the eye towards certain elements for the sake of a fake out, and further, the film's special effects and makeup definitely benefit from this by bringing out the saturation of blood of victims, which only makes the sights more unsettling. Cinematography also helps build suspense and hide surprises in more traditional manners, from simply keeping information out of view until necessary to using wide shots to emphasize the emptiness around a character before something strikes. It helps to bring the viewer into the world of Suspiria, and more importantly, into the point of view of its characters, which again makes the horror elements that much more effective. This is emphasized by the sound mixing as well which makes use of a beautiful synth soundtrack to further add mystery and strangeness into this environment, which is new to both Susie and the audience. The integration of the music and its overall mixing is also important to this idea of immersion, with the score coming in and out at times depending upon events within the film making it feel like something within the world itself. The overall desire to bring the audience into the film's universe seems to be the main goal, and once the movie brings them in, it hits them with as much horror as the characters themselves face. At the end of the day, while it's a bit lacking in story and character development, Suspiria is still an entertaining ride, thanks to its creativity and unique visual style. Suspiria Dario Argento, 1977 Four stars. I definitely recommend giving it a try. Maybe not if you're squeamish, but then again, if that were the case, you probably wouldn't have clicked on this review. Speaking of which, that's it for this review. If you liked it, leave it a like. If you want to add something, leave a comment. As always, 
subscribe to the channel for more reviews. This place could use some more color. I don't think there's anything that I can use for lighting, though. Just the usual fluorescence.